has activism in San Francisco gone too far? Uh, that's what Time Magazine is asking, because it turns out that the San Francisco Animal um, Control and Welfare Commission wants to ban the sale of goldfish. Hmm. They feel that uh, goldfish are mass-produced in these farms in terrible conditions, and they want to stop pet stores from selling goldfish. Last year, they wanted to ban the sale of puppies and kittens and hamsters because they felt that that from puppy mills. From puppy mills, right? Which I actually agree with. Yeah, you know? me too. Um, but th the goldfish thing. I don't know. I think maybe a case could be made for it. M maybe we find better conditions for goldfish to be raised in. I don't know. Well, I, but uh, I'm of two minds on okay. this. Okay, go ahead. On, 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 on one hand, like, just because there's a temptation to be like goldfish, whatever, mm -hmm. um, like, just because we've done something for years doesn't mean we should continue to, you know? Like, yeah, if these goldfish are massively produced under terrible conditions, like, just because we had goldfish in 1900 doesn't mean we should have goldfish now. Mm -hmm. Like, find some other alternative. If they're massively produced and poorly treated, then don't have them anymore. Like, we've made some progress. Maybe that's a good thing. On the other hand, who gives a crap? No, I know, I know. No. I, that's so funny. I'm, I'm definitely with uh, option B rather than option A. And it's not I don't give a crap because I don't care about the welfare and safety of goldfish. No, I just feel that's, like... That's where I'd come down. Really? I just feel like there's so many other issues that we could be focusing on. And, you know, there's definitely serious animal abuse happening right now in the country. And I like the idea of protecting animal rights. But then you focus on goldfish, and then I feel like it kind of makes people dismiss you know, other proposals that your organization comes up with. Like, because then all of a sudden you sound like PETA. You yeah. know, PETA well, who just kind of goes to extreme levels to... I don't know. I think PETA's done a lot of good, though. I mean, I PETA think, has done yeah. a lot of good, but they've also done a lot of things that make them look clownish. Yeah, but I don't think they... It may have made them look clownish, but I don't think PETA cares how they look so much. I mean, they've they've helped enormously in, in sort of lab testing of animals, and, and uh, I, I, very few... I mean, as far as the... How you treat people who wear furs. I mean, I think Pete, not so much how you treat people who wear furs, but how people think about whether they should wear fur. I mean, I think Pete has made it, an, I, I don't know enough about him, but I mean, I think Pete has made a significant impact in how we see the way we should treat animals. And, and I agree with that there are bigger problems, but if you're the San Francisco Animal Control and Welfare Commission, you can't really say, ah, they're bigger issues, let's skip them. I mean, that's what they do. <laughs> No, 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 I know that, I know that. But this is a specific proposal yeah. for goldfish, just specific. But it's, uh, it says here, right, like you said, the organization is known for taking matters to the extreme. Again, I don't think it's the extreme. It's literally what they do.